and happy Wednesday, folks. Happy Wednesday, September 30th, 2020, and welcome back to another episode of Quarters Without Borders. My name is Kyle, I'm your host, and today we will be, well, playing today for a better tomorrow. What does that mean? It means we are playing our way through video games, and right now that means the Ghost of Tsushima by Sucker Punch Studios. We're doing so on the hardest available difficulty, in this case lethal difficulty, with the expert level HUD enabled. And as you can see in the bottom left of your screen, every time we die, fail, or retry, those numbers go up because we donate an additional 25 cents, an additional quarter, to a charity. This game's charity is To Write Love on Her Arms. It is a charity focused on helping those struggling with mental health issues. And so far we've raised a grand total of $78 and 50 cents. Just fantastic. Fantastic. That quarter's donated tracker, of course, on your bottom left. That starts at zero today, and it will climb as we undoubtedly run into resistance while we play. We're coming to you live from sunny and cool central Ohio. I hope you're having a fantastic midday to your week. Um, yeah, we have just a lot of stuff to look forward to, so let's dive right in. If you're new to the channel, it's this opportunity to welcome you for the first time. Um, we're a rather new charity gaming channel. Um, if you like what we do here, throw us a follow. Check us out on the archives on YouTube, Quarters Without Borders, as well as our Twitter page, Quarters Without Borders, or at Quarters Without. And if you're a returning member, thank you for your time and your patience and just for everything that you folks do that makes what we do here possible okay so we were on an exploratory mission we have two question marks we want to knock out really quick the first being down here on the southeast side of Toyotama so let's make for a Kashima village and we'll go from there Not call for my horse, it appears. I'm not sure why. So let's exit this area. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I can't call for my horse. That is odd. Unless, like, the other directional bad buttons, up, down, and to the right, all function properly. So unless just my left directional button has gone out. Which it does not, because it works in the menus. I... There we go. I guess I couldn't call my horse while I was in Omi Temple. Alright, we have three clicks to ride. Let's see if we can do so without too much incident. Just knocking out a few housekeeping things before we move forward with our tales of Tsushima. We have a few friends who are in need. Of course, that Mongol armor really coming in handy, helping keeping us, helping keep us disguised. <laughs> Good morning, Flanagan. Absolutely, this armor is really neat. It's fun. It really gives me that opportunity to make combat, or at least let's say improve my odds. It's not as offensively focused as I would like it to be. Um, a couple of other armors do some really neat things like the Clan Sakai armor and how it gives me those extra standoff attacks and things like that. Um, but the utility of this particular set of armor 
is really, really useful. The only thing is, I wish, and I don't know if I can or not, but I wish I had the ability to change the color of it. Because I, I don't think, I think maybe one artist somewhere, one merchant, has stuff that can do that. There was the white dye folk. The white dye merchant has a vanity gear. And then I'm sure there's a black dye merchant has no vanity gear. So maybe that white dye merchant will have a way I can dye this Mongol armor white. That would be pretty amazing. Maybe that's worth a quick visit today too. So how is your morning going? Flynn again, hopefully well. We're at the midpoint of the week. Wonderfully exciting day. Hopefully you got some good rest. Because I know that we have, we'll say, quite the lesson in store for today. Mwah. Oh, who am I kidding? You'd have it no other way. The Kushi Grasslands. These wonderfully beautiful pompous grasses. What the? What the look? Pieces. Uh, where did you go, Mr. Horse? There we go. So I know my first horse, may she rest in peace, was named Soda, and I think just the universe is speaking to me. Hello Tigger, good morning, happy Wednesday. I think I'm going to christen this horse, because I've had her for a couple, a couple days now, starting to build that bond. I'm going to christen this horse Saber. S A B R E. Whoa! What's going on here? Ouch! Get off me, dog! Okay, that was fierce. A cat named Simba? That's amazing. What are the... what? Are, I mean, maybe not what are the odds, but... <laughs> a Nala and a Simba. That's fantastic. Alright, Mr. Golden Bird, lead on to whatever piece of vanity gear I'm sure you want to show me. Tigger, I hope you're having a great... great Wednesday. I think, if I remember correctly, you have one more day of work. Well, not that tomorrow isn't a day of work, but tomorrow's a short day. So hopefully that will be fun. Ah, it's going to be up here, of course. Every single one of these super tall temples seems to just have a thing hidden at the top. I know the one in the, the golden temple still needs to be explored. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Y'all need to get, like, you each need to take a photo of your cats and then get them, like, next to each other. Like, Photoshop it. The Plum Blossom Headband. One day, peace will return to Tsushima. Like a cool night breeze that rustles the plum trees. Oh, that's pretty neat.
<laughs> but if I just find out this morning, there's a new a new revelation. Ooh, I can probably get my new saddle too while I'm at it. All right, yeah, we got a lot to do. I think the saddle person is down here. Yes, yes they are. Okay, so a, a, a lot of little things to start today's adventures off. It's midpoint of the week though. It's a good time to get some of that stuff done. Ah, I gotcha. <laughs> so of course I have to ask, and I don't know if uh, Lady Dragana has hopped on yet, but I do have to ask, how did continuing, and I won't, I won't use the word dynasty out of respect to her, but um, how does continuing the winning streak, how is it going? Leave the bear alone. Ooh. You want to play like this, huh? <laughs> Lady Dragana, welcome to the channel. Oh. Speak the devil, so to, so to say, as the saying goes, right? You haven't missed much. We are cutting our way cross country. Um, we're gonna hit the store, get our upgrades, get the gifts, and then a few question marks and armor things, vanity gear to find. Small housekeeping stuff this morning to start things off. So nothing, nothing too crazy. What? They canceled trivia? Oh. Oh, that's a bummer. That doesn't technically count against the winning streak, though. So... That's not bad, bad. Hey folks, how you doing on the bridge? Passing the other way. Don't mind me. Ooh, okay. You wanna play like that, huh? Let's ride. Oh, I did, um, I, Lady Dragana, I did christen my horse this morning. I have named my horse Saber. S A B R E, British spelling of Saber. Yeah, other than that, just ride it. So looking at kind of like the beauty of the nature in this game, I've been consciously taking it upon myself. You know, I, I tend to do like walks out in nature fairly regularly if I can't, if I can every day. Um, but I'm taking it upon myself to try to find the beauty in real life to the same wall, wall, the same wall, the same awe and wonder if you combine those two words, awe and wonder becomes wall. The same awe and wonder that um, this game provokes. Because, I mean, these lo locations and landscapes aren't, I guess, extraordinary. They're rather regular landscapes. But what makes them so powerful, I guarantee you, hang on, I guarantee you they put these little hoppy doos to get across the screen because there's no other easy way to get across. I bet those were added specifically for utility, based on player feedback. Because I've used them so many times, traveling this direction, because there's no other easy way to get across that river. Okay, that, that aside. These, these aren't extraordinary locations. I mean, this is just like a forest with beautiful grass and clear skies. And I'm like, I can sit here and gaze at this all day, but I also have nature outside. Like, and it's beautiful. It's my favorite time of year. 
so I had my morning walk today. I went and I got some some morning coffee this morning, and then I went out to my favorite location in the town. Who am I standing off? I don't see anybody. Okay, never mind. I guess we're just going. And I was going for a walk. And wouldn't you know, I had this really cool moment where I came across a tree, and the tree was special. It had a plaque. That's how special this tree was. And it was called the Grandfather Tree. And it was... Basically, it's estimated that this tree is 315 years old. That's right. It's an oak tree. 315 years old. It was here before the city of Columbus was here. Back when this was Wolf's Ridge. And there were just like wolves roaming and settlers were coming in. Like the 1700s, this oak tree has been standing here. And it was not the tallest tree I've ever seen, but definitely one of the thickest trunk trees I've ever seen. And it was this really cool moment. I went up to the tree and I just silenced my mind, put my hand against it, and just kind of stood there, like, soaking in, like, the age and the wisdom of this tree. And it was this really cool moment for, like, five minutes. Of just one-to-one -one with nature. And I would say that's, like, the closest I've come so far to, like, a real-life Ghost of Tsushima moment. It was me and the grandfather tree. Really, really cool. <laughs> Lady Dragana, I absolutely do know there's irony in that, especially considering like the British Empire. I think even at one point pushed into to Japan and had had. Okay, correct my history if I'm wrong here. But I think there was conflict with Japan at some point too. So I do understand. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing, dude? So yeah, absolute, absolutely irony. Leave me alone, bear. I helped you. I helped you. I helped you. I helped you. This bear doesn't like to run straight. He likes to zigzag, apparently. And my horse is clearly not coming to my aid. Jiggly wiggly jiggle puff. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the channel. If anyone was going to point out the whole British irony thing with the name, too, it would be you, Lady Dragana. I thought about mentioning it. I'm like, eh, that'll be no, no one, no one, no one, will, no one will catch on to that. But of course, of course, I should have known. Me and the grandfather tree sounds like a. You know that could be, that could be a a ch children's book. Maybe I'll have to write. Maybe I have to write my, my my very first book. Quarters without borders will put out their very first children's book. Me and the grandfather tree. I don't know, it was just a really cool moment this morning, and I wanted to share it. Um, especially in light of, um, kind of the, the... I hesitate to use the word weekly challenge, but just kind of the idea that we're kind of pushing for this week, of trying to send some positive energy, some positive good out into the world. Whether it's helping someone in need, um, doing something good, even for yourself. Finding peace and harmony. So that was my first minor attempt at doing something in that vein. Nasu Baba's wrath, demonic visage for a fearsome warrior. That's pretty cool. It actually, like, matches my my thing pretty good. Okay, got our gifts. Now it's time to find the trapper. <laughs> it would be really cool if it turned into that. I will give you that, Lady Dragana. I did not receive any messages from the tree as of today. But I can guarantee you I will be revisiting the tree. Okay, where is our trapper friend? Do not tell me this is going to be another situation where I run... Let me be Halfway force. around the island looking for someone that is like impossible to find. If 
I remember correctly, I think they're over that way. May I assist you, my lord? Uh, if you can point, there he is. Memory serves me well. I'm happy to offer my services. Let's upgrade this incendiary oil. An excellent choice. And I think oh, well. that's it. I'll make an offer for your good fortune. <laughs> okay. Question mark it is. Half a click away. Let's ride. I think at this point we are fully upgraded when it comes to like equipment. I don't really know if there's anything left to upgrade. More flowers. Well, easier to find once you're out of Kamiyagata. Hopefully this will get me close. Once I get my 20 I need, that'll max. I can buy the last cosmetic thing, that hat that I don't have. I don't even want the hat, though. It's like not even a hat that I'm interested in wearing. It's just a completionist in me. Ooh, now what is... Ooh, this is where we're going. Okay. Thank you, Golden Bird. I think we found us a hot spring. The Marsh Tide Hot Spring. Very cool. Very cool indeed. We are going to reflect on... Ooh, this is tough. Exile from the samurai or changes changes in my uncle. <sighs> uncle seems so much older. Maybe the war aged him. Or I never noticed before. Alright, a little bit more health. Nice, gentle fade back into the gameplay. Okay. Now, I think there's one more up north, but we will conquer that later. We're going to ride south, get the saddle upgrade, and then visit the Golden Temple, because there should be a cosmetic item at the top of the, co of the Golden Temple. So let's ride. And let's try to, considering we have quite a distance to ride, we're going to try to bypass combat if we can. These are just random little spawny folks. In-universe, there's not really a good reason to bypass them. But metagame thinking, they're basically an infinite number of respawning rabble, basically, so... They're there specifically to consume time, and we don't necessarily want to lend them time. We've liberated this part of the island, so I feel okay letting them slide. Of course, the game's gonna throw like a gazillion of them at me. Jeez, they're everywhere. I think there's going to be a little drop on the other side, if I remember correctly. Yep. Ooh. Face plant. Let's go. I 
I think the reason, like, I'm just kind of mulling over the name Saber for my horse. I think a big part of the reason I picked it is because it starts with an S and it has two syllables. So it's very... The mouth feel, if that's a term. The mouth feel, Saber, is very akin to Soda. My last horse's name. But hopefully different enough that it's not disrespectful to my previous horse. Whoa, the sun just come glaring in through the trees there. I think I'm on the wrong path. I am, I should be in the forest path. The bridge is gonna be out up ahead. Into the sunset. Ooh, okay, probably can't jump down from that. Oh, that was unintentional. Well, then again, I do feel like it's... I do feel like it's different. Time for this, fools. I do feel like the name is different. It's being safer. It's like different, but but close enough within the same family tree, if that makes sense. God, we are in Himiko's garden. wooden path and we are back to Castle Canada up to the gates and then I guess it's a case of fast traveling do, 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 do. all right other side we need the Golden Temple for that piece of vanity gear, and then to the saddle person, maybe the white dye merchant. Actually, we'll be closer. The white dye merchant, too. So we have three things to knock out here before we Ooh, I wonder if the bandits will still attack me, because Mongol gear doesn't make it the same as, as bandits. <laughs> So clearly the uh, Mongolian armor does not protect you from bandits, which is kind of neat. They didn't just make it so it protected you from all enemies. Specifically, it gives you assistance with Mongols. Why am I collecting so much stuff? Am I low on equipment somehow? Apparently I am. I don't know where all my stuff is. Better get away from those peoples. these peasants. I had to stop for them. They were literally fleeing peasants. That would have been a tough one to just leave. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a poor person that's tied up. Oh, conscious. Safe now, please. A token of my gratitude. I feel like I hit max renown way earlier than the game anticipated. Because, all, like, I'm still doing story quests that the only reward is renown. And I'm like, you know, I've been at max renown for a while now. Like, I, I enjoy the story quests, but. A reward that isn't completely useless to me at this point would be nice. These little side quests reward renown, and it's like, okay, well, I've been at max renown for like a couple weeks now. Another flower? Don't mind if I do. Less than a click to go. Like, I know I'm, I've, I'm being, I don't know, fairly completionist in the way I, I play. But I still feel like the game should have taken that somewhat into consideration. Like, not that everyone's going to, like, do everything. But I feel like I would have hit Max Renown. Like, how, how do I phrase this? Like, even not doing as much as I did, someone that did less, I think would still hit Max Renown well before the end of the game. And I'm sure they want you to earn the title Ghost of Tsushima and all that stuff, but I feel like they could have st strung it out a little bit longer than they did. Found another- you mean like they, they should have put a different reward in? Like I'm still kind of holding out hope, which I doubt will actually happen, but holding out hope- man, look at this game. <laughs> holding out hope that, like, if you do enough of it, or it's still tracking my renown, even though the meter doesn't grow anymore, and you hit a high enough point, it'll, like, give you some secret item or secret reward. That would be pretty cool. They fight a bear. Is that what's happening? I think so. Steal the supplies and go. That works. I just, just I just stole the supplies from their little caravan and just rode past. Yeah, they're not gonna pursue me. Music, you can relax. All right, the white dye merchant. We have returned. It's been a while. It's been a long while. I want to bring your sheets in, dude. It's about the rain. My family has used white dye for generations. <laughs> the nine-tailed fox. Dang it. He has so much. I don't have enough flowers for this. <sighs> How cool is some of this stuff? Okay, well the bow we definitely can do. The Mongols will think they face death himself. No, I need 30 flowers for this guy. Jeez. 
I think Osaku's armor is pretty cool in white. And that's probably the one I'll use the most, I imagine. Yeah, let's do that. My work is impossible without the right materials. Well, I was hoping that'd be a... It's a zero new vanity gear. Like, that's not true. There's still two that I can't purchase yet. So remember, there's two things. I need basically 20 flowers just to buy out the rest of his stuff. And I will say, the flowers are becoming a lot more scarce. Harder to find. It crossed my mind a while ago. I'm like, I wonder if the flowers respawn, or if they are literally, like, set on the island. There's a specific number of them. And after you go through them all, they're gone. These guys are still here? There's the Golden Temple. You can see it up there, glowing on the hillside. That's so cool. That's where we're going. Flinigan, can you say that again? Like, I, I missed when you posted that thing, because I was, I guess, engaged in whatever was happening on the screen. Wait, what did I say that made you glance out the window? Oh, the raining outside. I gotcha. <laughs> Better bring your sheets in. No, I think we had a lot of rain, what was it, two days ago? Monday? I think we'll be, I think it's gonna be nice and dry for the next week or whatever. Here we go, another flower starting the collection. Right. Mr. Scott! Woo! Let's go, let's go. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Mr. Scott, good to see you, happy- Ouch! I quit dodging and weaving. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. I know we are here, so. But thank you, thank you for putting that energy out there. Another flower, 18 to go. I might have had two left over. So, 15 to go now. But yeah, I think the flowers are finite. I, I don't think they respawn. I think you literally have to find them. Which is pretty neat. Alright, almost there, almost there. Kind of a nice relaxing start to our adventures today, folks. Alright, I think we are here at the Golden Temple. you, Mr. Golden Bird. And I have a feeling I know where you're trying to lead me. This piece of vanity here at the top of this temple. Probably exactly where you're trying to lead me. Allow me to strengthen your armor. Now that I know they hide stuff up here. a lot of leaves for being this high up. Like, I don't think there'd be this many leaves at this elevation. Warrior sunset headband as day gives way to night. Blood and fire to follow. Eh, okay. 
And last but not least, the new saddle and the Sashimono bag. No, I think it could be moss, but I mean, these look very leaf-like. Um, it doesn't tell me, but I can see here on the collections part. So I've got nearly what, 14 left to go of Vanity Gears, three hot springs, nine shrines, only four pillars of honor, four haikus, two bamboo strikes, three shrines. I've done all the duels as far as I know, but I don't have the trophy for all the duels. So that's weird. And two lighthouses. And I imagine, I, I mean, they're probably not all hidden up here, but I imagine there's still a lot of fog in Kamiyagata. I'm sure there's a lot of hidden stuff up here. And worse come to worse, I do have these uh, guiding wind things. So I can use my guiding wind to guide me to things that I haven't found yet. To help, you know, knock things out and complete it. Here! Okay, one click to ride. Ah, okay. So the dual trophy isn't just those random duels, it's like including the one-on-one -on -one duels you do that are part of the storyline. So I imagine if I just keep playing once I finish the game, I will get that trophy. Since, to my knowledge, I haven't missed any duels yet. Oh, how high up are we? This seems rather high. Here we go. Okay. Three quarters of a click to go. We'll get the new saddle. And then we have one question mark back up in Kamiyagata to explore. And then a few... A few... Oh, this is not... That's a bit of a cliff. And then a few uh, storyline things to knock out. It's probably faster to go down. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. Nice job, Saber. A flower up here? Oh, nope, not a flower. What about you, Mr. Mr. Scott? How's how's your day been so far? Hopefully positive. We'll skirt these folks. Lots of straw hats in that group. Ooh. Where are you going, Mr. Golden Bird? Better be good. Oh, it's probably actually where I'm going, considering how close we are right now. What? Komatsu Forge? What's going on here at Komatsu Forge? 
Allow me to keep your katana back in shock. Yeah. Nothing more I can do at the moment. Is there something here that I'm missing? Because up to my knowledge, I've... I've got everything here. I was even on the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. So I'm not sure what I'm missing. Why he would leave me here. He led me to the building itself. So it's clear there's something in the building. So let's, uh... Back on the roof again. Oh, that's good to hear, man. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Scott. Um, the days I stream, so just for quick reference, and I don't know if anyone is aware of this or not, but on Twitch, on the actual like Twitch website, if you go to my channel, there's a tab for schedule. And I do my best to keep that schedule updated and accurate every week. So Consistently, I stream Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then we go for about an hour and a half usually. <laughs> hey, no sweat, no sweat. And then every other week we do a long play. So every other week we stream for like six to eight hours, and we usually do it on a weekend. This week it's going to be on Friday, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lady Dragana, I mean, I... Th Technically, they put the fire out. What am I missing here? Or is this bird just playing with me? Look for, like... The random spear with, like, a thing dangling off of it. I get up there? I bet. Oh, there's something over there. You see it in the corner? Dangling? It's that dangly thing. Those headbands. For some Somebody's up there just hooking head... It's like those kids that like tie shoes together, the shoestrings, and hang them over power lines. Someone's just tying headbands to spears and chucking them up on top of roofs. Which, speaking of roofs, <laughs> I feel like, just thinking about it right now, I feel like the plural for roof shouldn't be roofs. It should be roofs. Like R-O-O-V-E-S, like grooves. Here we go. Forge Master's headband. Worn with pride by those who work the famous forge of Komatsu. Actually, I think this is the same headband. Maybe not. It's a very similar headband, I think, to the one that uh, Taka was wearing. Alright, totally worth it. That was a tricky one. Right, there's our banner man. But yeah, the roofs thing. I feel like the plural for roof should be roofs. R-O-V-E-S. And I maintain that argument in the same way that I maintain that the word cow should be also singular and plural at the same time. Like deer. Look at all the deer in that field. Look at all the cow in that field. I see you found banners. I overheard people talking about Lord Shimura. His survival, like yours, inspires much hope. Generations ago, my uncle's clan was just a small family of warriors with no lands of their own. They were loyal retainers of Lord Kugewara. Helped him to defeat the Heisuke outlaws who ruled much of the island at the time. Lord Kugewara's sons all died in the conflict. So he arranged for Tokiyasa Shimura to marry his only daughter. After Kugewara himself passed on, his holdings became clan Shimura's. A mighty tree grown from a humble acorn. Thank you for that knowledge, Lord Sakai. Your help and inspiration are invaluable. All right, fierce spirit for those who prize bold action and swift travel. Uh, 
Uh, how do I... I mean, there's a picture of a horse right there. Seriously? I can't actually equip my horse? With the saddle? You're telling me I can keep collecting Sashimono banners. I can earn the saddles. But the game won't let me them won't let me equip them on my horse. What is this? What is this? That can't be for reals. Wow, yeah, max, 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 max. Couple supplies. Six flowers. Man, silk, gold, and waxwood is pretty hard. Man. For reals? Like, I can't even look at the saddle that I just earned. How disappointing is that? What's the point? There's no way... It is my horse. <laughs> this is my new horse. Like, there's no way you could claim all the Sashimono banners before your horse dies. Because there are Sashimono banners in Kamiyagata. So, to get to Kamiyagata, your horse has to die. So that means, by design, you will earn saddles that you can't use? Eh, it might. It comes when I whistle, which in the beginning of the game they said that was the hallmark of a samurai horse is if it comes when you whistle. The only thing I can think is that at some point, probably when the game is over, and I get the chance to just kind of freely explore the island, which is what I'm assuming will happen, I will get another, like, named horse. Because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to have prizes that you can earn, but literally are unable to use. Like, if I can, like, it doesn't, I know it, just, it honestly doesn't make sense. It's a baffling decision. So there has to be a way that you're going to get another horse somehow, or you're going to get the ability to equip saddles and use them. So that's just odd. Like, by design, there will be banners that you cannot collect until after you lose your horse. Which means, by design, that there will be saddles that you cannot earn until after you lose your horse. So how do you use them? It's got to be something that's going to happen later in the game. <laughs> It's, 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 it's got to be something later in the game. There's no way that they made that big of an oversight. I'm sure when you get to the end game, or maybe even the post game, like not even a new game plus, like just post game, it'll probably give you the ability to just freely explore the land at which point. I would hope they would give you access to a horse. Ouch. The heck, guys? Why are you attacking me? What happened to the whole... I, I would disguise myself, thing. Or is it because I just came flying out of the sky and crash landed my horse that gave me away? Maybe that's what it was. Horse! I could have sworn my equipment was maxed out though. I want I have no idea why I keep finding all this stuff and I have the ability to pick it up. Like I could have swore all my items and stuff have been maxed for a while. For a while. Two clicks to go.
Well, that was actually fairly productive. We got a, a lot of little things accomplished. A couple surprise things that I didn't anticipate getting. And just slowly beginning to just knock more things out in the game. Now let's go up get that last question mark. And we should have time to do a couple storyline quests. Or maybe one. We should have time to do at least one. And we'll go from there. Of course, just a quick little housekeeping thing as I mentioned earlier. Um, this is a long play week. We are doing a long play Friday this week, so a little bit different. We're going to be playing from 6 p.m. to probably a little bit after midnight this Friday. So if you want to tune in, or maybe you have like the open evening or something along those lines, and you want to drop us a line, you know, do so. Come, come swing by and hang out with us Friday night. It'll be fun. And I'm sure, especially with where we're at in the game, I'm sure there will be a lot happening. Okay. Man, look at the fog on the mountains over there. That's so cool. One click to go. I do gotta give it to him. Even though you can't travel without loading screens from one end of Tsushima to the other, they divided it into three chunks. Actually, two chunks. Because I don't think there was a loading screen going from Toyotama to Kamiyagata. There might have been, masked by the mission I played. We'll have to find that out in a second. Um, but either way, three chunks or two chunks, it's still... The playable areas they do present are quite vast and detailed. It's a very minor gripe. Oh, I survived that, which I guess is all I can really ask for. I'll heal, I'm not in combat. I almost didn't survive it. The whole, like, hovering, falling thing is really odd looking. I will say that. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. I should be coming up on Castle Canada pretty soon. I feel like I keep seeing a flower out here, but I think it's just the sunlight playing on the grass. What about some beautiful countryside? Okay. Whoa, where are you guys going?
There's not even like a fast travel spot close to the loading zone. Okay, so now we need that question mark way up there. What, three kilometers? Five kilometers. This is going to be a heck of a trek. We have not rode that far before. One shot. I have to go to the cemetery again, I'm sure. Oop, not if we skip it with the waterfall, I guess. Come on. Come on, Saber, keep up. Come on. Oh my gosh, really? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong button. And my shirt looks extra golden satiny today in the sunlight. I don't know if it's just like the time of day and the way the lighting is playing off of it. But it's way more gold than I recall it being. Right across the marshlands, just taking in the environment, the sounds, the sights. Someday I'm sure games will have smells. Nice relaxing play for the middle of our week. I feel almost like what is the uh, acronym, like ASMR or something like that? The community that's like all about like the sound, the sound effects and the aural kind of components. I feel like riding across Tsushima could be like an ASMR video where it's just like pure silence and all you hear is the horse galloping in the wildlife. Wait, what? I will give you that zombie in games and horror games would probably smell horrible. <laughs> but what do you mean? Movies that have scratch and sniff cards? Is there like numbers on them? And like as the movie is going, you have to like scratch certain numbers and smell to like complete the like experience? I've never been to a movie that had that as a facet of it. I know they make devices, almost like air air humidifiers that you can buy things, like you buy like different smell packets and insert it into this machine, and this machine can release the odors and does so like timed with whatever your entertainment is. They're rather expensive, at least the last time I looked into them. Really, I mean, have you been to one of these, Flanagan? Have you experienced this? Or anybody. Has anybody experienced this, I guess? It's a novel concept. I have not heard of that before. I'm not sure I care for the execution. It seems a little unwieldy. But I like the idea behind it. Or should I say intention? I like the intention behind it. Hmm. Like I said, I... I, I I can get behind the intention. Like, I like the idea of trying to create a more immersive experience. The execution, I don't know how I feel about 
having a card that you have to scratch. Like, if you're in a dark theater, like, you have to look away from the screen and look down at your card and, like, find the number or whatever, how they want to figure it out, like, which which thing you're supposed to scratch. And you have to scratch and then you're smelling the card, and it just seems very unwieldy. I feel like if they had some sort of controlled air conditioning thing, Something it would be there. a lot easier. Yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> I know there's like some amusement park rides. Like I've never actually been to like a, an amusement park amusement park, but like I think like Universal Studios and stuff. I think their rides like do like, they blow wind at you and spray water at you and like you'll be watching a screen and have stuff playing on the screen and they try to create like an immersive experience. I think that's kind of a neat concept. Although I don't know how they'll ever shrink the technology or the equipment needed for that in order to make it more commercially viable, more widespread. Whoa, look at all the fireflies right here. Around this grave. Oh, it's Taka's grave. That's awesome. So he's here on the coast. There's no marker denoting the fact that we're here, I don't think. Nope, there is a marker. I love the fact that there are just a ton of fireflies around his tomb. How cool is that? That's a cool bridge down there. Going out to that little shrine. Hey so one thing that was um this is Yadikawa. Not really a novelty. One bit of technology that I would love to see come back or at least come back at least in a niche way, is 3D televisions. Like, I know VR is kind of a thing now and stuff like that. But, like, when Avatar came out, like, 3D was huge because of that. And I understand, like, you needed the glasses, and it was pretty expensive, you know, the accessories, and not really the most accessible concept or delivery. But they have, like, glasses. They have glasses less. Sans glasses, 3D TVs now. Uh, kind of like the Nintendo 3DS works. Which I don't know how that would work for multiple viewers, or you just have a very narrow viewing angle, but still, like, I will not forget going to a friend's house and with his giant flat screen 3D TV and a surround sound system watching Disney's Tron remake in 3D in like an apartment. And it was an incredible experience. Like, the 3D, in my opinion, added a significant amount. Now, I know it increases the cost of production, and it has to be done right in order to really be worth it, but when it's done right, the 3D TV effect, glasses or no, I think was really, really cool. And the thing was, there was a time period there. I mean, there you can still get 3D movies. There were games that had 3D. Like, I remember playing through Gears of War 3, on a 3D TV. And I will tell you, that was really cool. Having just the depth perception in the game itself was a really neat effect. And I I don't remember if I had to wear glasses for that or not. I don't think that was glasses. I think that TV was a glassesless system or a, a no glasses 3D system. And this was like, I don't know, five plus years ago, more than that. Like, I wish that technology was not completely dead. We are not going this way. This is that really curvy cove. Yeah. Following the the wind, the way the crow flies, is not the most efficient way of getting there. I don't know, what are your what are your thoughts, folks, on 3D TVs? Did you have a good experience with it? Like, 3D movies, even. some were worth it, some weren't. I would say James Cameron's Avatar was a fantastic implementation of 3D. I think it really does add a lot. And I think there's a space for it, even within the, I guess, market ecosystem we have with virtual reality and augmented reality. I assume we've lit this lighthouse. Yes, yes we have. The secluded lighthouse. Alright, only one kilometer to ride. But yeah, that's one thing that I actually miss. I would like to go back through and play games 
in 3D. Why is everybody... Oh, okay, they just get startled. If we follow this road, it's going to take us the wrong way. So we do want to cut up left here. Get up on the high ground. If we stay on the low path, we won't have a way of getting back up. It'll take us out to that spot where the duel was. I think the autumn leaf duel, if I remember correctly. Beautiful autumn leaves. Color palette, wow. Okay, 800 meters to ride. Hopefully it's on this elevation and not that one up there. Although it's not looking promising. Ooh, that's a shrine. Have we been to this fox shrine yet? I don't think we have. But I bet we can. No, I got you. It definitely was something that you had to invest in, I think, in the beginning to really get the experience out of it. But between James Cameron's avatar and the theater, well, I have been here. That's nowhere close. Oh, I guess that's just where the tree is. Between James Cameron's avatar and the theater, um, Tron at my friend's house in an apartment on a 3D TV with glasses and then playing Gears of War 3 without glasses in VR. Those three experiences stand out to me as phenomenal experiences. And there's a lot of other fluff in there that probably wasn't that great. But those three alone are enough to me to be like, yeah, this is really cool stuff. Oh, come on. Are we out of road? I think we're out of road. Oh, higher. Higher and higher. Alright, let's do this. The thing is, like, nobody... Like, I don't think anybody makes the 3D stuff anymore. Like, you can still find the TVs, but they're, like, used... And I'm sure they have a significant markup because it's kind of a niche market and the folks that really love it, love it. I would just love to see the technology come back. Especially with the advances that we've made in the technology. Man. What is going on? Is there no way over this mountain? Yamabushi's Peak? Do we have to ride all the way around? Oh, here's... I think we can climb right here. Like, which Lion King? Like, the new? Like, the live... What is the point of this? Like, the live action? Or not, the CG? The CG Lion King? What is this? Why is this here? It's really cool. Don't get me wrong. It's very cool. But I don't think... I think this helps me get over the mountain at all. No, it definitely does not. Man, all that. Look at that sunset. Wow.
That's incredible. Well, down we go. Okay. Well, this is getting a little tricky. Let's ride this way. Try to cross this mountain or go around it or whatever we have to do to get where we need to go. We need to get up there. Castle Shimura. And there is not a way of getting over there that I can see. We have us a bit of a platforming puzzle here, folks. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Wish I could use my second wind to get up from those giant falls. Oh, come on. Grab it, dude! Okay, what's going on here? I'm gonna grab the thing, man. What the heck? Grab the things. Uh oh. He said the water. Okay. This is getting a little ridiculous. Yep. That's going to be one of these, Flanagan. <laughs> okay. Saber, let's go. Oh, really, you can't cross this stream? I just didn't realize how difficult getting back to Castle Shimano was going to be. are literally the gates of the castle. Can we not? Like, is this not in? Uh, Toyotama? What are those weird lines? Anyone else see that? Is it normal? Did it always do that? If you look at the top third and the bottom third of the screen, there's like these weird lines coming up when I pan. You can really notice that where the white and the dark meet. That's really unusual. I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. So is this not in Kamigata? Can I actually not get there? Yeah, I don't think I can get there. I think it's the other side of this castle. Wow, all that work. And we can't get there. Well, we've come as far as the game will let us. We've come the castle. Oh, he gets off his horse automatically. He gets off his horse automatically, so you can't hop that wall. It's like built in. And you can't get on your horse here either. <laughs> 
it's like built in to prevent you from being able to get across this. That's so cheap. Alright, well we're gonna pretend we fast travel through here, get out the other side of the castle, and come out at Kubata Crossing. Cause this may be a chill day, but we are not going to finish today without without getting this last little thing. And the tales of Tsushima will have to wait. I had no idea, no idea that this was in Kamiegata. Whoops. Terrible things are happening along the roads in Sago, my lord. The Mongols are skilled in using terror to control people. This was more than that. I saw them hang a man from the trees while his father watched. I still hear his father's screams. I'll find them before they harm any others. Kind of neat. I talk while on my horse. A father's choice. It's like an actual like quest quest. Yeah, a quest quest, wow. Ivory of Woe, an indomitable lord, emerges from Tsushima's clans. Is this white mask? That's super cool. Not to jinx it, but the combat deaths, at least for the last day and including today, haven't really been happening. It's like two days of no combat deaths. At least so far. Are we riding into the wasteland? Oh, there's flowers growing in the wasteland. Life is returning. The endless forest. Where are we going, Mr. Golden Bird? That shrine up ahead? Ooh, a hot spring. The white mist hot spring. I wonder if this is what I was going to. Man, it's snowing. This would be a cold hot spring. Oh, I mean, I guess it'd still be hot, but contrast. Exile from the samurai. <sighs> the samurai. My uncle. I can never go back. I have to accept that. And night is falling. It's going to be extra cold. Yep, that was the thing, apparently. It does seem we have some gates up here. These Tori gates lead to Frost Cliff Shrine, Sanctuary of Nigihayahau. Nigihayaha. Not Yahi. Nigihayahi no Mikoto. Nigihayahi no Mikoto, Kami of the Sky. Nigihai... whatever. Jeez, that's a mouthful. Nigihayahi. 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 You can say that, you can say that. Alright, this will probably be the end of our, our relaxing Wednesday stream today, folks. get up to this shrine, pay our respects, clear just a little bit here on the coast around Keen Village, and then that'll set us up tomorrow for tomorrow's stream, 
Um, we've really, I felt like, cleared out what we needed down here in the bottom half of the island, so we'll be diving right into these side quests tomorrow, helping out our friends. Hopefully, we have the whole day to, uh, to push toward those concepts. Um, we should be able to finish Senti Shikawa, Lady Masako, and Norio. Finish all three of their quests completely. And that'll be really cool, I think. Man, he puts his head down when he rides. Way more than I would expect him to. Okay, Frost Cliff Shrine. Go. Now, if we do some scaling, this is going to be, in my opinion, very dangerous considering it's nighttime and it's icy and snowy. Of course, the bridge is out because why wouldn't the bridge be out? Yeah, this would be very cold, very slippery, very dangerous. We did climb a mountain in a blizzard, though, so maybe I should have more faith in Jin. Well, that wouldn't be dangerous and slippery. Reels. All right. My gosh, that's a heck of a jump. Okay, we made it across the bridge. The shrine, I believe. One more out. <laughs> Couldn't be that easy, could it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's not incredibly dangerous. Jeez. Oof. Okay, I think we made it across this obstacle. I think we made it. Does appear that way. Kami of the sky.
charm of Nihayahi no Mikoto, charm of the Kami of the Sky. Kind of a neat charm. Extra damage when at full health. If I was at full health more often, I'd probably make good use of that one. Okay, let us return. One more shrine down. Nice. All right, folks, that's going to be it for our adventures today. I think this puts us in a good position. Come tomorrow, Thursday, of course, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be cutting through these Tales of Tsushima missions, so Father's Choice, Lady Masako's final quest, Norio. Hopefully it'll give us a chance to do his last two quests. And uh, I don't know where Sensei Ishikawa is. I mean, it's here. He's at Jogaku Temple. So he is waiting for us here somewhere. I can't actually see him, but he's in here. Oh, he's behind that. You can kind of see him. There he is. So that'll be our goal tomorrow. Kind of a chill day today, cleaning up some spots of the map. Um, obviously, there's still a lot here in Kamiyagata to explore and discover. There's a whole town over here, Sago Mill. And a town over here, Izumi Village, which is where I presume the end of the game will take place. But um, rather than exploring dots, we will do our best to finish up some storyline stuff tomorrow. And... Put us in a good spot to start our long play on Friday. As always, folks, thank you so much for spending your Wednesday morning here with me. That is another episode of Quarters Without Borders. Trying to do a little good, send a little positive energy out into the world, making a difference, 25 cents at a time. We have three, three quarters donated today, um, all from falling off the exact same cliff. But that brings us up to a grand total of $79.25. I'll have that, of course, officially confirmed for us tomorrow. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. No matter where you're at, the States, international, around the globe. Take care. Have a great day. Stay safe. And as always, happy gaming.